Fly ball. Deep right field. And that ball is gone. That's 18. A new career high. And it's a 2-1 to one ball game. doubt about that when he had that ball over the Ram trucks pool out there in right center field an 89 mile an hour change up out over the plate David barrels it up over the pool in right. This the zone by a wide margin. In the air to shallow center Herrera got a late break and he won't get there. It drops in. Odubel Herrera got a very late break in center. And now the winning run is in scoring position. Once again, that won't go as an error in the scorecard, but certainly a mental error for Odubel Herrera breaking back initially and then can't catch up to it. Tough read for a base runner right there. Goldie sees where the ball is, sees where Herrera is, and just kept. Broken bat, and it drops in. David fought him off. He's digging for second. Here's the throw, and he's in there. And once again, the D backs will have the winning run in scoring position for the fourth consecutive inning. That's Peralta's third hit tonight. Boy, and what great base running by David Peralta. Got jammed, floated that ball out there in right field, but he knew Quinn was playing over in the gap in right center and had a long way to go to get to that ball. David figures he's going to be on the move when he gets to the ball. I'm going to force him to make a good throw, and he was not able to make that good throw. David into scoring position. Sends this one pretty deep left center field. Fly ball. Way back. Trailing 2 nothing in the ninth. They win it 3-2 in the 14th. What a ball game. Diamondbacks offense didn't wake up until the ninth inning of this game, but boy, did they come alive in extras. Finally, David Peralta with the big blow to left center field. And you mentioned it, Bob, in his previous at bat. He can hit the ball out there, and it looked like it went off the top of the fence. He might have caught it out near the end of the bat just a little bit. Herrera coming over from center field. Cousins from left field hits right off the top of the fence and on over. What a night at Chase Field. And the D-backs regain sole possession of the National League West lead. A half game up on the Idol Dodgers. Jody Jackson is down in front of the D-back dugout with the hero, the freight train, David Peralta. That's right, Steve, the freight train, David Peralta, unbelievable here, a home run to get the D-backs on the board, Ooh. and eventually, uh, with some help from some teammates, tying this game, and then the walk-off homer here. <laughs> First walk-off for you, how does it feel to walk it off? <laughs> okay, the second one was uncalled for there. Game for the Ooh, you got a double dose there. Yeah. Like, how's that feel to hit a walk off homer? It, it, you don't have words to describe that. I'm really happy. We battled the whole game. And that was a good win for us. That was a good win. I'm really excited. I help my teammates. And I'm really proud for everybody. We stand in the game. We never give up. And this is all about. You're right. You guys did not give up. That is for sure. And you were unbelievable in extra innings. A homer, single, double, another homer. I mean, what was your mentality when you stepped up to the plate every one of those times? Hey, you know what? I, I wasn't thinking about anything. I was just trying to pull it. I make a good, I get a good swing. I got a good slider hanger. I put a good swing and the ball went out. I just want to go home and rest to be ready for tomorrow. Real quick, though, this was obviously a long game, and early on, 
you could, guys could not create offense. Arietta was so good. How did you not get discouraged and just continue on through this game and look for that opportunity? Well, you know, Arietta, he's one of the best. You know, he was pitching really well. Godly was doing the same thing. So as soon as we got to the bullpen, we we, we feel like it, we, it's time to step up and everything. So we we, did, we we got the closer. We tied the game. And I was like, okay, we're not going to let it go. And that's what we did.